life just can end like that. Boyad is considered dangerous. Police urge you to call 911 instead of approaching him. Police with the Utah Transit Authority now have a new tool in their kit to keep riders and others safe. And Fox 13 Scott McCain live for us this morning with more on UTA's brand new drone force. So Scott, good morning. How does this all work? Yeah, good morning, guys. And you know, you would think, uh, why would a you know a system that runs on rails and bus lines need drones? Well, they say these new eyes in the sky give them a lot more capability to help when there are very large crowds going to big events, and also keeping trespassers away from the rail lines, basically protecting them from themselves. And when accidents and incidents do occur, it also allows them the ability to diagram, diagnose those situations, get them all cleared, and get those trains and buses running again as quickly as possible. With the coverage area of more than 1,400 square miles, there are some pretty remote sections of UTA rails along the Wasatch Front. It can be a challenge to patrol some areas with officers alone. So, UTA police recently investing in a drone squad. Where we started running into problems getting to trespassers and people that maybe unfortunately want, would want to take their lives on our rail system, uh, and they get out in areas that are very difficult for officers to just roll up in a patrol car. Lieutenant Hewitt says they will be especially helpful during large scale events. Like the All-Star Game or a general conference, the, the air show up in Davis County, Lehigh Rodeo, that draw a lot of people to our rail system. And what happens is as people are waiting for the trains and it gets overcrowded, we do get a lot of spillover where people will get into the rail alignments. High def cameras give crystal clear visuals during the day while thermal imaging capability gives officers the ability to literally see in the dark. These drones also come equipped with speakers to relay messages to those on the ground. And actually give messages out over the speaker, hey, stay out of the alignment or please move back to the sidewalk, there's a train approaching. Um, in cases where we think somebody might be trying to end their life, we can actually fly the drone over them, let them know that the trains have been stopped in the area, that help is on the way. Uh, and prevent that from happening. And when accidents or incidents do occur and the trains are stopped, these eyes in the sky will help investigators analyze and diagram a scene much more quickly in order to get the trains back on track ASAP. Which is difficult to do. I mean, these trains are 400 something feet long. You can't just stand there and take a picture with a digital camera and get the whole totality. So putting something up, you know, 50, 60 to 200, all the way up to 400 feet in the air can give you a very good view of that of that scene. Yeah, right now UTA PD currently has three of those drones in operation and a dozen of their officers have been uh, trained up and ready to go and able to use these whenever they are needed. And they say they may expand the program depending how things go over the next year. For now, we're live in Murray. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.